there, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Natasha, welcome to my channel. This video is my next update for my Hit and Switch Project Pan where I'm taking all of the products in certain categories and I'm bringing them in, using them a certain number of times and then switching them out and rotating. I made really great progress this past month. I'm excited to show you all the things I'm gonna be rolling out and that means I'm gonna be able to roll a bunch of new things in. So let's just get started with the blushes. Each of the three blushes I was focusing on last month, I wanted to hit 10 uses on. The three blushes I was focusing on were the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. I was also focusing on the blush from this Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm palette. I think this is called Multi Glow. And the third one was this mini hourglass blush in the shade Mood Exposure. I'll have some before and after photos of each of them. The first one I want to talk about is the Essence Blush. Last month I used it six times and I needed to use it four more times in order to hit the 10 use mark. And I was able to do that, so this one be, will be rolled out. The second one was the Charlotte Tilbury Multi Glow one. I had rolled that in last month and I needed to use it 10 times to move it out and I was able to use it 10 times so that one will also be rolled out. And the one that will be staying in is the Hourglass Mini Blush. I did use this eight times this month so I just need to use it two more times next month and I can roll that out. Because I'll be rolling these two blushes out, I wanna bring two new blushes in and I want to focus on the two blushes from this Cover FX Soft Peach Duo. I want to use both sides of the duo 10 times each. More often than not, I usually use the matte blush first and then use the more shimmery side as a topper. I am gonna to try to use the shimmery side on its own a couple times just to get a better feel for how it performs on its own because I'm actually not sure even though I've owned this for a long time. So I have the Hourglass blush and then have the these two PG blushes, and those will be the three blushes I'm focusing on this month. Now for highlighters, the three highlighters I was focusing on last month were the Melt Star Glazer, Stargazer Highlights, the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Highlighter, and my brand new Berlin Girl Glow Highlighter from Becca. This one I hadn't used at all. I had used up a full size of it previously and this one was brand new. So last month I had used Stargazer from Melt four times. I needed to use it six more times. I was able to use it an additional six times to roll it out. The next highlighter that I focused on was the Becca Berlin Girl Glow one. I did use this one 10 times, so that will be rolled out as well. And the last one I was working on was the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar highlighter. I used this seven times, meaning it's gonna stay in this month and I'll roll it out once I use it three times next month. Again, because I was able to roll out two highlighters, I'm gonna bring in two highlighters and I'm gonna stick with the duo palette thing that I did with the blushes and I'm gonna focus on the first two shades from this Flower Beauty highlighter palette. I'm gonna focus on these two pink shades here. And again, I need to use both of them 10 times in order to roll them out. Now for bronzers, I was focusing on two bronzers. The first one was this Becca Bali Sands bronzer and the other one was the Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury wand I had in the previous month as well and I had already used it nine times. I used it an additional 11 times this past month to roll it out. And the Becca Bali Sands was my main bronzer for the month and I used this 20 times so it will also be rolled out. There were a few occasions where I wore these together, like I'd wear this as the, my main bronzer and then this more as like a contour, but most often I just use them on their own. And apparently I just want to focus on all of my face palettes this month because the two bronzers I'm gonna be rolling in to focus on are also from the Nudegasm face palette from Charlotte Tilbury. So to be clear, I'm using the Nudegasm palette the highlighter trio from Flower, this duo from Charlotte Tilbury, the film star duo, and then the duo from Cover Effects. Like, I'm pretty much bringing in every face palette I own. <laughs> anyway, I want to use the bronzer and contour. This bronzer side here, I've already used five times, so I just need to use it 15 more times to roll it out. The contour, I haven't used it all yet, but I think what I'm gonna do is use it mainly as a contour. Like, I think this is a little bit too cool toned to use all over the face. I will try it to see if it works as an all over bronzer, but if it doesn't, I'll just use it with the bronzer as a contour. So depending on how often I use both of them together, I might be able to ro roll out both of them next month. So for lip products, I have six lip products that I want to use 10 times each throughout the project. I'm just focusing on ones that I really like but tend to get neglected. Maybe I'm not ready to pan them or maybe they're not like everyday colors. And so the first one I was focusing on was Pillow Talk 
medium two and I had already used it two times last month and I used it an additional times this month to roll it out and I didn't really enjoy it I think it's a beautiful color but it is not really an everyday type of color for me and I knew I was going to be rolling in this tinted lip balm from Charlotte Tilbury it's in the shade romance kiss this is super pigmented tinted lip balm and this is again not really like an everyday shade for me although I did reach for it five times this month to kind of get a head start for next month and I actually really like it a lot. I love the formula. It's really thick and balmy, but it's super pigmented and it does pull a little bit more orange on me. So it's not like a berry or a brick red. It's more of an orange. And that's not really something I tend to reach for all the time. So the undertone is just a little bit more finicky and I have to have specific looks to make this work. Now for fragrances, I have two Pacifica fragrances that I was focusing on. I was focusing on French Lilac from Pacifica. This is a full size. And then I had this roller ball of Enchanted Woods. Pacifica French I had already used 10 times last month. I ended up using it an additional 11 times, hitting my 20 use goal. So I will be rolling this out. And then Enchanted Woods, I needed to use it 20 times in order to roll it out and I actually used it 22 times. At first I wasn't crazy about this and I was very close to decluttering it and I was also close to decluttering the other perfume that I'll talk about in a second but after using it for a while I actually really liked it and I realize now that I really like it as a winter fragrance. I think maybe the last time I was using it and trying it out I was probably doing it at a different time of the year where it wasn't as appropriate I guess. I mean you can wear whatever you want all year round. So I am glad I got to pull it out during this time of year because I ended up really liking it and as a result I'm not going to declutter it. So both of those are rolled out and the one that I knew I was going to be rolling in next was this one from Commodity. It's Oris and this also has a very very specific scent to it. It is very strong. I wanted to bring it into the project because it's the type of fragrance that I never think to grab over my other fragrances. I have like three or four favorites and then this one kind of just always gets forgotten about because it is so strong. And again, I realize I really like this as a winter fragrance. So to get a head start on this month, I actually use this 10 times. I, I like this a lot more than I thought I would. Again, I thought I was gonna declutter it, but now I'm not going to because I found a time of the year where I really like it. So again, I just need to use it 10 more times to roll it out. And the other fragrance I'm gonna focus on is a favorite one that I love. This is from Define Me. It's the aerial version and I mean, number one, the packaging super beautiful but this fragrance is so nice and so unique i think i read that it has like driftwood in it mm. i don't know what driftwood's supposed to smell like but it smells amazing like this smells so good so auras and Ariel will be the two that I focus on this month, and I'm already halfway to my goal for Oris. So the powder I was focusing on was this setting powder. It's the Halo Glow Setting Powder from e.l.f. in the shade Light. And I ended up using this 23 additional times this month, and I really ended up being surprised at the amount of progress. If you can see in the photos, like a straight months of use, I've already used a ton of it. So this is something that if I wanted to pan, I know it would only take probably three or four months to finish it. So that was really surprising. It is one of my smaller setting powders. Like I have some setting powders that are like double, more than double the product in here. So it does make sense that I would go through this a little bit faster than those ones. Since I did hit my 20 use goal on this one, I'm gonna roll in another powder and I'm going to bring in this Kosas Cloud Setting Powder on the shade Airy. This one I've only used a couple times and I did get hard pan on it and then I kind of forgot about it and I was focusing on some of the newer powders in my collection. So I haven't really used this a ton to have an actual opinion on it. I do tend to prefer using loose setting powders to set my foundation. So using a pressed powder might take some getting used to. I also need to figure out which brush is going to be best for me because from what I've been hearing from other people, it seems like this gets hard pan very easily because it is a very soft um, baked formula. So I am glad to be bringing this in because it'll give me time to focus on it and really figure out how to make it work for me. The next category is primers and I only have three primers in my collection and I'm trying to use each of them 50 times. I'm not rolling one out and the other one in. I'm just using them whenever I need a certain one depending on the makeup look that I'm doing. So the e.l.f. jelly one I had used five times last month and I used it an additional five times this month. I mentioned in my last update that I wasn't sure what to make of this product like I just didn't really know how to use it and I wasn't loving it because it just felt really sticky on my skin and I feel like it does still feel kind of heavy and sticky when I first apply it 
which does take some getting used to, but people in the comments did mention that you're supposed to apply it and then let it sit, like really let it sit and dry before you put other products on top. And I found that that has made the process a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> Still not 100% sure if this is making like a huge day and night difference for me, but I am willing to keep trying and see if I can try other methods, maybe use more, maybe use less use it on certain parts of my face, maybe use it during different times of the year and just really test this out and see how to make it work best for me or if I just can't make it work for me at all. So this one I've used a total of 10 times. I have 40 uses before I can roll this out. The next one is a long-term favorite. This is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Primer. I had a little bit left in a container last time from another travel size. This is a new tube. I've used this tube three times, but total I've used the Peachy Primer 23 times, so I'm almost halfway to my goal. I really like using this just on my T-zone to keep myself from getting oily. I do also find that it helps to uh, make my pores a little bit less noticeable. And yeah, I'm glad to be done with the other one because I had to cut it in half and put everything in a little container in order to get the rest of it out. And I did find that it was getting a little bit drier and a little bit harder to use. So I'm glad to have it back in this packaging where it's a lot creamier and a lot easier to use. And the last one is this primer from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Brightening Youth Glow. And I use this sometimes just as a glowy primer. Other times I'll use it as a foundation mixer. And I found that that was how I used it the most this month. Last month I used it 16 times. This month I only used it seven times. Total I've used it 23 times, just as much as the Too Faced primer, meaning that I'm just about halfway to my goal on this one. The last category is setting spray, and my setting sprays also have a 20 use goal. The one that I was focusing on last month is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is a very dewy spray. Like, this makes you very glowy, um, but it does dry down. Like, it doesn't make me feel oily. It just makes me look very glowy. And I did end up using this 20 times. This is definitely a very specific type of setting spray. I like using it whenever I feel like my skin looks a little bit drier. Um, and I do like using it more in the winter when I'm not as likely to get super oily. I do enjoy it. I don't think this is something I would buy again just because I'm really not one to have a lot of super dewy setting sprays in my collection. I prefer the matte ones. So I rolled this one out and the one I was using in its place, once that one was done, was the Ulta Beauty Wannabe Free Setting Spray. This is a mini and it's opaque, so I can't really show you like before and after photos. I have used this seven times so far and I do like the formula, I like the setting spray, but the actual spray is a little bit difficult. I really liked it the first two or three times that I used it, but now I feel like something in the nozzle is getting stuck. And so it's not giving me the even spray that it did whenever I first started using it. I might just need to go in and make sure the nozzle isn't clogged at all or anything but I mean it's okay I enjoy it but it's not like my favorite mattifying setting spray out there and once I've used this 20 times I'll need to use it 13 more times to roll it out once I do that I will roll in my newest setting spray this is from Colourpop it's the no filter setting mist and I was really surprised that there is like actual powder that settles down at the bottom of this. So you have to shake it every time you use it. I've already used this two times and I don't really have strong feelings about it either way. So I will use it more this month and give you a little bit more of an idea of how I feel about this product. But that powder in there really does, it kind of freaks me out. I don't know. How do you keep powder in powder form in liquid? Anyway, I'm gonna show you a chart of a snapshot for February. All the products that are in black are ones that I was able to hit my goal on and roll out, and the ones in pink are the ones that are staying. And then I will show you a snapshot for March so that you can see all of the products that I'm gonna be focusing on this month. Again, if you have any suggestions on how to make this more interesting to watch or make it easier for me to track, because I feel like there's a lot of moving parts, I would really appreciate any feedback you have. This is my first time doing a project pan in this form, but I am loving it so much. I feel like this is the most I've been able to keep everything even. Like, usually with project pans, you're just focusing on one product at a time. And for me, I tend to just focus on those products and then everything else gets neglected. But this is the first time where I feel like I'm really getting a feel for everything I have. I really appreciate you watching, but in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.